I'm here with Michael Pack, the CEO of Vantage um, Electric Cars, right? Vantage Vehicle International. Uh, Michael, can you tell me a little bit about your vehicle and what makes it unique? Well, our vehicles are what's called low-speed vehicles. Um, our maximum speed is 25 miles rather than, you know, 60 or 70 on the regular highway speed vehicles. Our target customers are uh, customer who is just driving uh, local areas or enclosed areas such as military base, campuses, universities. Uh, so we are not really a consumer products, but we are more of the fleet customer uh, type of products that we are offering to. Well, we were just talking to the uh, area manager for Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and one of the things he was talking about was putting electrical vehicles at Metrolinx. So someone who comes from Orange County or comes from Riverside County to L.A. County could particularly pick up one of your cars, go to his office, come back the next day and drop it off at Metrolink. Is that something you, you would be kind of where it would, might work for you? Uh, that's possible as long as the speed limit is 25 miles, between 25 and 35 miles. They're able to drive our vehicles. Our, our vehicles are licensable in every state. So as long as they have, you know, able to drive on a street up to 35 miles, they are able to do that. Tell me a little bit more about how your car is built and, 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 and a little bit more about the, the company itself. Well, actually, we bring the shells from overseas and we actually modify everything locally here in Corona, California. So we use all the, the components that we source it out from the local suppliers and we modify it and then we sell it to our customers. Now, do you also supply the charging stations or is that something separate? No, that's something separate. Uh, we work with a couple of the companies. So if customer wants a uh, ch charging station, then we just uh, let them know who the companies are willing to put up the, uh, the charging station. But we don't directly involve with the charging station. Okay. Can you tell me, where do you think the future is for your vehicle or for electric vehicles as a whole here in Southern California? Well, obviously, the, the infrastructure are not quite ready, I believe. Uh, we are currently building highway speed vehicles also. So next year we are going to introduce four highway speed vehicles, including pickup trucks, van, SUV, and uh, commercial trucks. Uh, the future is definitely there. Uh, electric vehicles will be the dominant vehicles in the future. So we believe in that, and there's going to be a lot of companies also will get into that market. How important do you think it is that organizations like the National Electrical Contractors Association works with groups like WRCOG to speed up the, the, the development of these charging stations and create a better infrastructure for electrical vehicles? Well, that's definitely a good idea. Uh, we need to have uh, support from cities, federal governments, and states to make this uh, happen and plus uh, let the customer aware that this is the future of uh, our vehicles. So it's, it's good to have the association or the group of people together to make this happen. Why did you locate your business in Corona? What was the significant benefits to one being in Riverside County and secondly being in the city of Corona? Well, we want to just get away from the, the, uh, the metro area because uh, the areas here in Corona uh, we could get a lot of uh, people, local people, that uh, you know, easily find the people, uh, uh, you know, people that we could hire right away. So the, the, the labor pool was pretty good in the city of Corona, plus the, uh, the areas. Uh, we get a lot of support from the city of Corona, uh, and the, also the highway transportation. We have to ship a lot of vehicles to other uh, states. And this location, there are a lot of um, easy, to, easy access to the freeways. So this was a you know, choice of our cities. Can you tell me uh, just uh, maybe a couple of questions about your vehicle? Why is there still kind of a limit on the range a vehicle can go? And, and what's the limitation on your speed and, and why? Well, the, the most probably the limitation on the electric vehicle is the, the size. There's a limited area how much we can put in a, in a vehicle plus the cost of the batteries. Uh, obviously, there's a way that we can put a bigger batteries and have a longer range, but the cost is going to be way, way high, way more than what the people afford to buy. So that's the limitation. Obviously, there is technology to put bigger battery pack, but if it's $60,000, $70,000, who is 
who can afford to buy the electric vehicles. Where is the, the batteries, are the batteries improving themselves? Are they becoming lighter? I mean, oh, myself in the old days, <laughs> carrying a camera, the, the batteries were ex excessively heavy. They're becoming much, much lighter. I is that progressing? We are working with a couple of uh, battery manufacturers right now. They're uh, improving the quality of the, uh, the batteries. It's, it's getting lighter, um, uh, plus the, the cost of the batteries are getting lower. So down the road, we could put um, very, very uh, heavy duty battery packs in a vehicle uh, could achieve a higher range of the driving.